Hi guys, it's Paula and I hope you are doing well. This is going to be my nine month update for Pan That Palette 2020. Let's start with my Baby Pan That Palette. I'm always working on a Baby Pan That Palette that's a palette with five shades or less and that way I can keep working on the smaller eyeshadows in my stash. Currently, my Baby Pan That Palette consists of one shade and it's consisted of one shade for a long time. It was originally a duo. I panned the first shade in the duo at the beginning of this year and I've just been working on the second shade. It has taken forever, forever. I've been working on this forever. I do have some good progress over the past month. I was using this eyeshadow almost every single day. So let me show you a quick clip of what my palette looked like last month. And this is what it looks like today. All right, so if you guys saw my update for Finish Six by Santa, you know why my hand is covering this eyeshadow right here. But the matte brown shade that is in this spot has shattered completely. I still have not gotten around to repressing it. I've been super lazy and I've been making it work the way it is. I just use it in my eyebrows. So um, I don't know if I'm gonna repress it or not. Some of you suggested that the universe was telling me to chuck it and that's not gonna happen. You guys don't know me very well if you think that's what I was hearing the universe saying to me. I wasn't hearing that at all. The universe was saying, go Polly, you could finish it. But I have made some really good progress on my purple shade. This is the Baby Pan That Palette. That's all that's left. Basically, sorry, I'm gonna, okay, you've seen it, right? I can close this up now and just talk without holding it. Yeah, that's all that's left right there. Basically, I created a look that involved several of these shadows um, that I'm gonna be talking about in this project, plus a couple that were also in my Doo Pan, my Battleship project. And I created a look with all those shadows and I did it day in and day out in September. And this was my lid shade for that eye look. So I used it almost every day of the month in September. And so I do think I made some good progress on this. I won't know for sure until I'm editing and I have last month's photo compared right against this month's photo. But yeah, I do think I made really good progress on this. I still feel like I have a couple more months to go before it's gone, which is frustrating, but I'm happy I made as much progress as I did. And I definitely think I need to pan a look for the month of October and it needs to include the shadow. Basically every time I pick a look to pan, it needs to include the shadow until the shadow's gone. I need to get the shadow out of my life. And so whatever look I'm panning is going to incorporate that shadow in it so I could finish it off. That's the plan. Okay, let's move on to Panning Solitaire. Panning Solitaire is a project that was created by my good friend, Erin. I will have her channel linked down below along with a playlist of everybody that's been doing this project. This project is a Pantastic Ladies project. If you're not a member of the Pantastic Ladies yet and you are a project panner, I suggest you hop on over to their Facebook group and request to join because they are taking votes for the theme for the Pan That Palette for 2021. And there are some really good ideas on there. I had the hardest time deciding what to vote for. And I cannot wait to see what wins. It's no matter which idea wins, it's going to be a good one because all of the ideas were so good. Congratulations to everybody who submitted an idea. They're all really brilliant ideas. I had a really hard time deciding which idea to vote for. So if you'd like to vote for the Pan That Palette theme for 2021, get on over to Facebook and join the Pantastic Ladies group and submit your votes. The idea behind Panning Solitaire was that it was a progressive project pan. You start with a single and then you work towards a double and then you work towards a trio and then a quad and then a quint and it keeps going up, up, up. This project has been going so 
so much slower for me than I thought it would. I always think I'm gonna be like laser beam focused. I'm just gonna pan a look for the whole year and knock these products out. That's not been the case for me at all. But I did make some good progress on a couple of these and I did meet some goals on a couple of these. Um, so let me show you what it looks like now. For my single, I chose this gigantic pan of Sephora eyeshadow in Outrageous Metallic Beige. It is the shadow I have on all over my lid. I have it on top of a Tarte eyeshadow pencil, but it's just gorgeous. This is a gorgeous eyeshadow. This is what it looks like now. I just keep working this spot right here and it's definitely getting flatter. I don't wanna say there's a dip, but it's flattened out a bit and the pattern has definitely become more worn. So I, I'm happy. If I hit pan on this by the end of the year, I would be very happy, but I would also be very surprised. I don't think that's gonna happen, but I'm really enjoying the shadow and I think it's gonna to have to find its way into a project for next year once this project is over because I just have loved using this so much. For my duo, I chose my little sample of Smashbox Full Exposure. This came in like an Ipsy bag, I'm pretty sure. And this is what it looks like today. I hit pan. So I've been trying like heck to hit pan on this matte shade down here. It took forever. These pans are super deep, super deep. Yeah, it took forever, but I did finally hit pan on this matte shade down here. I think I only used this top shade once in the past month and I ended up taking that single and putting it on top of my lid because I didn't think it looked like much on its own. But I did hit pan. This was in the look that I was panning throughout the month of September. And I told myself I was going to do that look every day until I hit pan. And after I hit pan about a week ago, I've been having a lot of fun playing with other eyeshadows that are in projects and changing my look up every day. But I am ready to get back to panning a look. I don't think it's going to be um, incorporating the shade for the next month maybe sometimes, but I'm gonna give myself a break from this shade for the past month and work on some other transition shades I'd like to make some progress on for the month of October. Hopefully I will incorporate this into a couple looks, but I'm not planning on having much to show you at next month's update with this duo. I don't think I'm gonna be reaching for it that much. For my trio, I chose a Bake Trio from Physicians Formula. And as so many of you know, I did finish one of the shades at last month's update. I think it was before last month's update. Yeah, it was definitely before last month's update. So this is now a duo. And um, I don't think I touched this once at all in the past month, which is horrible. I really, they really wanted to work on this this year. I really wanted to move this out. I was ready in January. I was ready to do whatever it took to get this in my empties by this by the end of this year and I don't know I got distracted I got seriously distracted and I have not been working on this nearly as much as I should or as I thought I would so those two don't really have much progress to talk about but because I finished this shade I did roll in a quad, so now I'm working with a quad as well. Let me show you what that one looks like. For the quad, I had you guys vote. I went with the majority vote, and that ended up being this Milani Fierce Foil Eyeshine in 03 Florence. Here is what it looks like today. There's not, holy cow, that's blinding. There is not a ton of progress to speak of. I tried using this several times um, with my eye looks during the month as like an inner corner highlight or like an inner third kind of brightening thing. And I had a little bit of trouble with it. It was not applying smoothly. I felt like there was, 
it felt like there were places where it would apply like a big chunk and then there would be like a bald spot and then a big chunk and then a bald spot. I didn't love it. I did do a look with this shade that already had some progress on it. I'd already used it a time or two and I just smeared this all over my eyelid. Um, basically, I didn't have anything on underneath it. I just applied it all over uh, an eyeshadow primer and then I applied some like brown shades in my crease. And although that looked beautiful, if you got close to my eyelids, you could see that they were a creasy mess. If I stood back and you squinted a little, it looked gorgeous. It was glittery goodness. But if you got too close, it wasn't good. And that was really disappointing. I'm curious to know if some of you have had that same experience with these products because, um, it doesn't matter how beautiful they are. It could kind of kill an eye look if it's just creasing all over your lids. I still haven't touched the top two shades at all. I was hoping to, but it just didn't happen. I didn't get a chance to use them at all this past month. So hopefully I will get around to it this month. But I did use these two. I did use this one once and I used this one several times. This palette does come with this strange little applicator. It's like a silicone wedge. I have not used this at all. I've just been applying the eyeshadow with my fingers. I don't want to say it's working because it's not really working, but that's how I've been doing it. I will continue playing with that quad and seeing if I could find a way to make it work over the next month. Wish me luck. There are some great shades for fall and hopefully I will find a way to make it work and create some amazing fall eye looks. That is it for this update. What do you guys think? My main focus for the month of October is going to be the shade right here. I already, oh my gosh, that is beautiful. That's the most beautiful house I've ever seen. I have um, some pants. Oh, good. Oh, would you like to say hello? Yes. Hello. Are you just showing everybody your tongue? That's strange. Nobody wants to see your tongue. Oh, your nose is running. Why don't you get a tissue and wipe your nose? And then I'll come back. I still haven't solidified what eye look I'm going to be panning. I might be going back and forth between two eye looks for the month of October, but one of those eye looks is absolutely going to be incorporating this shade all over my lid. Hopefully I can use up half of what I have left. Oh, look who's here. Mm -hmm. Hi guys, again. Again. She's back again. Yes, I am. And that's right. Because she said it. And that's why. Because she said it. You're bumping my camera stand. <laughs> what are, you, are you trying to sneak in on this video too? <laughs> oh man, you guys are just messing with my stand. There you go. We both finished it now. There you go, and do you see our mm. Halloween decorations? Oh, I forgot to mention your Halloween decorations. Who put those up for me? This girl right here. She put them up. You did a good job helping me with the Halloween decorations. Yes, you did. And what's your name for ice cream, Mom? Um, Moose Tracks. What's your favorite ice cream? Chocolate, banana, mm -hmm. and moose track. And Oreo. Yes, those are all my dairy ice cream. You have some good favorites. Yeah. <laughs> I love a lot of ice cream. And what's your favorite animal, guys? Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> they didn't, you didn't even give them a chance to answer, and you're already telling them that's a good one. They had an answer. They said sheep. Oh, they said sheep? Well, that is a good one. What is your favorite animal, Mom? The sloth. The sloth, the unicorn, and the flamingo. The unicorn and the flamingo are your favorite animals. Yes, and the sloth. I like the sloth. Oh, me too. Oh, you do too? Well, I didn't know that. 
Yes, I told you it yesterday. Oh. And do you know which dog is your favorite? Mm, which dog is my favorite? The pug. I like a pug. They kind of look like sloths, not sloths. Pugs and sloths kind of look alike. I must like funny looking animals. And, oh, the cow, the, um, a mouse, a cow. Oh. That's a very good puppy. That's a cow good. puppy. Oh yeah, that's very good. And I like, Cow puppy too. Okay, I'm gonna finish filming, okay, sister? Okay, I just wanna stay right here. Okay. All right, guys, let's talk about some goals for this next month. I don't I don't have much to talk about. I think really my only goal is to focus on my baby pan that palette shade. I would love to be able to finish half of what I have left here. So if I can like clear out the top half or the bottom half, that would be great. So I think that's the only goal I have really set for myself over this next month. I should really set a goal for my panning solitaire shades, but I feel like there's nothing I could really achieve. Like, I just feel like I'm so far away from hitting pan on everything else. Maybe if I could expand the pan a little on my matte shadow in my Smashbox Duo, that would be good. Or maybe if I could get a dip going in one of the Milani foiled eyeshadows, that would be good. But I don't know. I don't know what my goal will be using the single, duo, trio, and quad from my panning solitaire. But I'd like to keep working on them. We'll see. <laughs> All right, guys, that is it for this update. Thank you so much nice for watching, watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.